Following on from the video that I did with the Dodge and the Burn Tool, in fact I'm going to be using the same picture. It is by Emmett Hume and it's under the Flickr Creative Commons license. Now after I did the video, I was contacted by one of the members of my website, Ed, who told me of a technique that he'd come across and he was using and Ed was good enough to put the steps in the email to me. Reading through, I thought this would make a really good action and it could also help to sort of create different effects and speed up our workflow. So let's take a look. Now the first thing I'm going to do is come over, I'm just going to take hold of the actions panel, I'm going to place it out on the work surface so we can see everything that's going on. Right, if you haven't got your action panel open, you'll find it under window just dropping down at the top. There it is, click on actions, that'll open it. The next thing we need to do is we're going to drop down, we're going to click on this icon. This icon is going to create a new action. Now, the first thing it's asking us for is a name for this action. I'm going to quickly type in start DMB. In other words, it's a start for dodge and burn. Now, the set, the set of the folders in your action panel. So just take a look. I'm going to go for my workflow set. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click record. Watch what happens. The set that I've selected workflow has now opened. There it is. There's the name I put in start DMB. The little red light is on. So now everything you do is being recorded. Don't worry. It's not real time. So you can take your time over this. It just records the steps that you take in Photoshop. So coming over the first steps we need to take is to duplicate our background layer twice. So I'm going to use command J control J once and using command J control J one more time. To the top layer, we're going to invert this. We're going to make it look like a negative. Once again, very simple shortcut, which is Command and I. That's Control I, so that's Command I or Control I. There it is, that's inverted our top layer. Now we're going to come up. We're going to change the blend mode from normal. I'm going to click on this. We're going to drop down. We're going to go to Vivid Lights and you can see the effect. We're going to come up, we're going to go to Filter, I'm going to drop down to Blur, we're going to come across to Surface Blur. Now when Surface Blur opens, we can come in and we can change the numbers here. Now what I like to do is to come in and for example, if I put in 30, I'm just going to press Tab on the keyboard, that's going to drop me down to the threshold. I'm going to put 30 in here as well, so just type in 30. Now this does depend on the file size you're working with and the type of effect that you want. And I'll go through that just a little bit later when we've just completed this action. So I'm going to click on OK. That's now going to run through. And over here again, you'll notice the steps that we've taken and it will now add the surface blur once it's got to the other side. Thank you. In it goes. Right. Vivid lights the blend mode to layer one copy. We're going to merge this down with layer one. So I'm going to use command E or control E, command E, control E. We'll merge it down. You'll now notice it's all under the normal blend mode. Now with this, we're going to desaturate it. To desaturate it, you could go to image adjustment. You could drop down there. It is desaturate. There's the shortcut, which is command shift and the letter U. That's command shift U. It's control shift and U. That's control shift U. That has now desaturated it. Coming up, the final step is just to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to drop down to soft lights, clicking on soft lights. And there it is. You can see the effect that that's now had on this image. Uh, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm just going to click in where it says layer one and I'm going to put in dodge just so you know exactly what's on this layer and burn. Right. So clicking on that and it goes and now I'm going to click stop. Let's take a look. Coming over, as we've seen, we can switch this on and off. And I really like the effect that that's had on the picture. I've got the hand tool selected. Just going to press Command or Control. Now, it really suits this picture because it brings out a lot of the skin texture as well. It's brightened up the beard no end. It almost eliminates the need for the dodge tool. As you can see, look at the sparkle that's actually brought to the eyes. Just going to use Command 0, Control 0 to go back to fit on screen. Going to come to our dodge and burn layer. I'm just going to press Delete to get rid of that. Now, when we come over, first thing we're going to do is just come up to the surface blur. I'm going to click on this. This is now put in a toggle. So what the toggle is going to do, the toggle on and off. And if you just fold it up, you can see there's a toggle on this. So you know that anything with a toggle, you're going to be stopped and you'll be asked to uh, adjust it. It's now going to stop on the surface blur. So clicking on Start DMB, it's now going to play through. We reach this stage here. and. I don't want quite so much of an effect. So what I'm going to do with this particular 
one is just drop it down to 25 just pressing tab on the keyboard going for 25 on this as well and I'm going to click OK that's now going to run through it's now going to come down it's going to apply the surface blur through it shoots and then it's quickly rapidly going to come through and there it's even named it for us as well okay I should have done that in uppercase right so there it is there is the start of our dodge and burn just going to put my actions panel back over with my layers now I think it's done a brilliant job if I just switch that on and off really like the way it's lightened things up now it's at this stage we can come in and we can change things for example not keen on what it's doing with the background now a good idea with this is change the blend mode from soft light back to normal blend mode. Now when you go back to normal you can see if I just fold this in you can see there's the areas there that's what we want to get rid of. So I'm going to come over I'm going to press B on the keyboard that's going to give me my brush tool. I'm going to drop down I want to change the foreground color so I'm going to click on this little icon which opens up the color picker. We're going to come over to where it's got the B I'm going to swipe across and I'm going to put in 50 so that's now changed it to 50%. It's got the RGB all in at 128, which is the 50% grey. I can click down. Just taking a look, my opacity is 80%. I'm going to press 0 on the keyboard to take me to 100%. In fact, I'm going to use the right hand square bracket, taking it up, making it larger, and we can just very, very quickly come over, just removing that uh, little bit of a, a grainy background there. Right, at this stage, we're going to change the blend mode back from normal to soft lights. You might also like to try overlay. That can be really good as well. Depends on the image you're working with. So try soft lights or overlay. Dropping the size of the brush down. If we just switch it on and off, you can see the areas is brightened up. Love what it's doing to the eyes. Not so keen on around this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity down to, let's go down to 40%. Uh, I'm going to press 4 on the keyboard. I'm going to click down. Just come around this area. Just blending that in over this area here 40% at first you can always come back and just come over it a little bit further and taking the size of my brush up like this just coming over again just down I don't want it so bright around the beard here that little part there coming through that looks pretty good around this area right so now we've done that I've just blended this in a little bit more if you zoom into the picture and if you don't want so much texture in the skin that we've got coming out perhaps around this area here Again, what you can do is you can drop the opacity down to say 20%, press 2 on the keyboard. You'll notice we've now gone to 20%. I'm going to take the size of my brush down and just come around. And this is just going to take that sting out a little bit around this area. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, now for the dodge tool. If I press the letter O, remember the letter O is the shortcut for the dodge tool. You'll notice I've gone straight over to the dodge tool. I've got a soft edge brush, 400 pixels, range is mid-tone, exposure set to 20%. That looks pretty good. Just going to drop the size of my brush down a little bit using the, using the right hand square bracket and just coming across, just burning that down a little bit, coming down side of the nose there, just burning that down a touch or two as well and uh, if I just come a little bit around this area dropping down just coming under the eye just bringing it across round like this and just coming over if we switch this on and off you can see the way that's now darkening down that's looking pretty good love what this is doing to the picture command zero control zero to go to fit on screen right I want to make the uh, the band just a little bit brighter on his cap so I'm going to use shift and the letter O now don't forget shift and the letter O is going to scroll through from the dodge tool sorry from the burn tool to the sponge tool to the dodge tool there it is there I've got my exposure set to 20% I'm going to come in and I'm just going to brighten that up like that that looks pretty good zoom in out a little bit using alt spacebar that's option spacebar I'm going to use shift and the letter O, that shift and the letter O taking me to the dodge tool. I just want to darken down this area around here just a little bit more. Just taking that in, down that crease as well. Just a little bit, dropping the size of the brush down, left hand square bracket for that crease there and around the bottom and up in the centre part, just through there. And there it is. There's our picture. If I just switch this on and off, you can see the effect we've applied. And if you want to come in, if you want to, so I've just noticed this area here. I'm going to press B on the keyboard. That's taking me back to the brush tool. I got 20% opacity, taking the size of the brush up. Let's go to 40% opacity and just take that down as well. Save it in layers. You can come through and you can make any adjustments. 
a brilliant way of working. It really does help to speed up the workflow. You can also change the effect that you're applying to the picture depending on the subject matter. Big thanks to Ed for uh, telling me about this technique, but uh, go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.